copy of the Safari one. So Safari, as you maybe people know, you need to replace the the washer button. So that's the code. If you're interested, it's exactly the same. First step: inner guy. And then we disconnect the vacuum. We take that part off and replace it. We're still phase number one. Can you see? Water pump for the wipers. In the guard, gone. Chaluka is cutting template. Template is going in. Roughly here. Template time. Double check, triple check. Should be all in line. This in line, this in line. Two holes here. And then we should cut residue. Whatever is left, we cut it. One, two, three holes. That's it. Positive. Oh. The most annoying thing is move, remove the water pump out, which is from was coming out from here. It's it's all annoying, to be honest. Really fiddly. Anyway, I'm ready. You are ready? Yeah. So, this is all done, three holes, it's going in here, now they give you this, I think this is not a template, so what it does, can you see, you put this one here, you mark, you drill two holes inside, this is a template for the hole so the drill bit of the also goes here and a one or five millimeter and then a five millimeter hole so it's gonna cut enlarge this hole which is that it used to be the water bottle for the this is all water lovely yeah. Do you reckon we have to put drill a hole to drain the water when rains and go inside no. from the snorkel down? No. Where the water goes? Because <laughs> we're sucking water from here. Okay, number of Should be free. Ooh, that's spicy. So I guess this is phase six, whatever. Basically, after you do, you mount this, and then you trim in this. So when you trim this, you mount that. Can you see it? You need to remove this guy from there. And we need to drill a hole right there. So a few steps behind with filming. It's pretty, pretty complicated. But anyway, you need to move. This is the original one. This is the one they give you in the kit. Basically, this guy has to shift 25 mil from the original hole. So we drill a hole 
in there, 16 mil and 12 mil, or either way, six, I think it's 12 and 16, to put the spacer with the washer, and then this you put the original screw to tie this space up again. Hope it makes sense. It's a pain, yes. So update, we mounted bottle, which is a um, bit of a challenge. <laughs> you need to mount that bracket, yeah. <laughs> That's, um, is that a solenoid? You need to disconnect that solenoid, you can see right there. To mount, to actually to be able to fit the new bottle in there, which you tied it from up here. That's how it looks. You need to use the same end, the same pump from the previous bottle. You reconnect it, and then you remove the air intake from right there. And now we need to seal the air box. We disconnect the top of the air box. 16. Let's see. So standard washer bottle mounting. So we mounted this to that sealer. We have a question. This is the draining hole. In theory, even the instruction said it's up to the installer to seal it or leave it open. Do we use it as a drain? Does it suck water if we if he um, driving to deep water question down below i think i should seal it i'm gonna seal it <laughs> that's the bracket install the bracket <laughs> so, you keep talking what's this talking about so we extend you need to extend the water pipe that's the extension keeps with the with the kit that's a bracket so you have to figure out what for i know it goes there which is here well actually what Gianluca showed me before when we remove that's the step one we remove this one in the guard i had sand i had dirt from here to there let's do some here so there's something to consider and probably to clean to the other side anyway those are new king springs bill stain shocks happy days that's better okay that's better that's uh, okay Okay. Okay. This guy here, get the system. <laughs> By the way, Safari, Safari manual works perfectly. Happened to me a week ago now. Probably be more than a week, but anyway, pretty happy with it. Came nicely. Only a bit of rust here. It's I guess normal, just a screw. And then what I didn't show in the previous video that I was missing. So the attachment of this part, which is kind of a L shape, gets to there. So this is one piece. Put silicone in here into the um, um uh, what's it called? Airbox. There's another part connects to there with another screw. You tie the plate and goes all the way to this bit. So this part, the snorkel itself, connects to here. The reservoir water bottle that's put previously underneath here is now moved to this area pretty much it 
pretty much it. Quite clean. The great peanut butter is completely out of my vision. So you really have to lean forward to see, otherwise you can't even see it. Pretty good with it. 